My friends, Nancy here. It is getting, starting to look a lot like Christmas. It's getting really close, isn't it? So for today's installment of your holiday survival guide, I thought we would do some Huga for the holidays. Have you ever heard of Huga? I know I had heard this word before. I had no idea what it was, how you pronounced it. <laughs> well, I had an idea what it was. Um, didn't know how you pronounced it, where it came from, um, or anything like that. But it is called Huga. And it's really just all about a peaceful, quiet, cozy, you know, making your surroundings really cozy and just really feeling good through the holiday season. Um, so I guess the word comes from, it's, a, it's from Finland, which as I understand has been voted the happiest place in the world to live uh, four years running by a UN sponsored uh, poll. So it must be a good thing, right? So it's really just all about sharing moments with people who matter to you, getting together, connecting, just being in a relaxed and soothing and comfortable way. So that sounds pretty good, I think, to me. When I was thinking about what I wanted to write about at uh, this time, what I wanted to talk about, I had a thought that the holidays would be open, but now I don't know where you are. I'm in Ontario, Canada. And we have just started another lockdown, so uh, it's not as much fun as I had hoped it would be. You know, we were all in hibernation last year, and it looks like we're hibernating again this year at Christmas. But some good things do come out of it, right? You know, you're able to do your... Re I think we, we really realized how resilient we can be and how creative we can be in terms of, uh, really, without even knowing it, making a Hugo holiday for our friends and our family and ourselves uh, without even realizing what that was because of having to go through this this craziness of COVID. So today I thought I would just give you some tips on how to make that your holiday more comfortable, more cozy, uh, more connected as possible. But first, before, but before I do that, I want to introduce myself. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nancy Brooker. I'm a relationship and stress coach. I help women who uh, feel stuck in a challenging relationship, whether it's with a partner or, a, uh, you know, any sort of loved one, a coworker, parent, child, and especially the one with ourselves, um, just to bring more clarity about, you know, where the triggers are, where the blocks are, calm connection, bring all of those things into your relationship so you can experience it with more ease, less stress, and um, just more joy and fun, right? So what can we do to make our holiday Huga, Huga holiday? So what, I think one of the first things we could do, you know, I we actually don't do this, but I love this tradition. Uh, we have a lot of friends who will go out and cut down their own Christmas tree with their as a family which is such a fantastic thing to do, especially on a snowy day. Everyone's bundled up and marching out, finding just the perfect tree, you know, and, and there's, of course, always hot chocolate at the end of that. Maybe there's a snowball fight or two or something like that going on. But so much fun and a great way to connect and be together as family, especially in these times, because I think this is something you can actually still do because it's outside. Uh, with other families too so that's not such a bad thing right you could go for a long walk in nature you know where I live we have some amazing trails that just stretch from one end of the city to the other or you can go it into the country we've got conservation areas around here where we can hike and so many great um, so many great areas to go to areas to explore and it's so much fun when you're out there and and there are people walking their dogs, or there's people with their little kids all bundled up, you know, with their big scarves and just playing in the snow, making snow angels, all those sorts of things. So much fun. So I think that's a fantastic thing to do for the holidays to make it more cozy and connected. So I think another thing, you know, for me anyways, Huga is all about connection. <laughs> If you haven't noticed that about me, connection and family are very important to me. Um, so I think it's a great time to call somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time. Maybe there's a friend who, you know, you haven't spoken to in a few years that you'd really like to connect with. And it's actually something that you can do, again, because it's outside, you could go for a hike with them, uh, you know, 
plan something outdoors that you can do together that you can still connect. Or just Zoom, just call. Old, old school, right? Write them a letter. Even go even more old school. Write them a letter. How fun is that when you get something in the mail? Um, when was the last time you grabbed a cup of tea and just sat on the couch with a big cozy blanket and watched a chick flick with your girlfriends? So again, now with the lockdown, maybe, you know, it might be a Zoom community watching thing or however that's going to work for you, but it's always a fun thing to do. Maybe, you know, we had actually planned for next week with a couple of families that we're really close with, we were going to have a 70s dance party over the holidays. Well, and of course we've had to cancel that, which is really sad, but you could still do a little impromptu dancing in your house with your family, putting some tunes on, whatever that is that's just going to make everything fun for you and feel really cozy and connected. Um, you know, maybe you break out the old yearbooks. This is another thing I just did recently with a friend. We, we took out old yearbooks. We could take out photo albums, whatever you have, and we just had a hoot looking through uh, the photos from our old yearbooks and some of the, you know, people write in your yearbooks and things that we had written and, and it was just such so much fun and we laughed and laughed and we all know how good laughter is for your soul. And I'm actually going to put a link down, down here to another blog that I did. It's a written blog about laughter and, and all of the great things about laughter and how it's, it's really the secret sauce to life, I think, right? Laughter. Um, what else could you do? You know, I'm not a baker, but if you like to bake, wow, the, just the smells of, you know, freshly baked cookies or breads or, or um, uh, cakes, whatever it is that you like to bake. And it's, it's such a, a, a nice thing to pass along, too. I mean, you know, if, if you've got kids and you want to show them how to make certain family recipes, or if you have grandparents, you know, to learn something from them. Such a great thing to spend time together doing is just filling that ho that your house with those wonderful smells and, and scents of the season. Um, and I guess, you know, cozying up by a warm fire is always uh, a great option too. And I think something that's really big with Hugo uh, in Finland is just light the lighting of the candles. So, you know, safely, of course, but lighting candles in your house and with different scents. You know, there's so many different things that you can do, but at the end of the day, pick, pick whatever works for you and have it ignite all of your senses, right? Your sense of smell, taste, touch, um, what you see, what you hear, you know, you can think about the types of music you might want to hear or about the quiet, because sometimes it's the quiet that makes it cozy. Well, however it is that that works for you is absolutely perfect. So I hope that that was helpful for you, and I'm wishing you all such a wonderful Christmas season this year, and I'm hoping everybody is healthy, um, and sending, hoping you have lots of laughter in your life too. So that's it for me today. Uh, if you want to connect, if you need some help getting through this holiday season, uh, please do reach out to me and let's chat about how I can help you with that. And don't forget to grab your freebies down below and check out that art, that article, that blog on laughter uh, being the secret sauce. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so take good care. Bye now.